words, original thoughts pertaining to science. And today science seems to be the go-to man for all the answers. But science is limited in those answers that it can present. Science deals with physical facts. And as we know, or I hope you know, that the world is based on spiritual realities. And those physical facts will always be subservient to the spiritual realities. So science is really limited in the sense that it's not the leader, it's the follower. And then when we put science in that perspective, then we might hope to garner that truth in which it can hope to reveal. So in saying all that, I'd like to read these words to you that will put all of that into perspective. Just something for you to think about. And once again, this is for anybody that actually trusts in science. And some of you I know trust it with your life. That is a mistake. You should never expect science to reveal the absolute final analysis on those ever enduring mysteries of the human race. So science by itself could never be that savior we want. Being that science is not the creator, it can never accurately explain this constantly expanding creation.
has been stated for decades that Edward Leed Scalman said that he had discovered the secrets of the pyramid builders of Egypt. In fact, on the Coral Castle website itself, it states in regard to this topic that Ed would only say that he knew the secrets used to build the ancient pyramids and that if he could learn them, you could too. Today, hopefully, I'm going to show you that this may have been true. In fact, I believe it to be true. And I don't believe this based upon stories that I have heard, but based upon scientific and obvious reasons that I can point to today. The first reason speaks for itself. Um, the fact is no scientist, no engineer, no one who has experienced in the art of stone masonry has replicated what Edward Leed Scalman did over 70 years ago. In fact, if you search YouTube for the video that I'm showing here, it is part two of In Search of the Castle of Secrets. It is clearly proven in the video and stated by the man at the quarry that a single man with primitive tools could not have moved the coral blocks that Ed purportedly did by himself without modern machinery. There is a second reason that Ed may have known the secrets of the pyramid builders, and that is there is a similarity between the coral that was used to build the coral castle in Homestead, Florida, and the stones that were used to build the Great Pyramid of Giza thousands of years ago. Let me show you what that correlation is. But before I do so, let me tell you about something. Let me first tell you a little bit about coral. Now coral is made from a substance called oolite. And oolite is a sedimentary rock formed from what are called ooids. Ooids are small spheres that are mostly composed of calcium carbonate. Remember that word. Calcium carbonate is a substance that is secreted by the corals or polyps which are the little animals that actually live in the coral reefs. The coral reefs grow as the polyps and the other organisms deposit calcium carbonate which creates the coral reefs themselves. So to summarize, a coral reef is the result of small creatures called corals or polyps that secrete calcium carbonate which creates the coral reefs which later becomes oolitic limestone which is what most of southern Florida is actually made of. Now let me give you one more definition which will help you tie all of this in. Another definition for what coral is is this. It is a coral reef or limestone structure that was produced by living organisms. And limestone is a type of rock composed primarily of the mineral calcite another important word to remember, which is the crystalline form of calcium carbonate. So what does this have to do with the Great Pyramid of Giza? The Great Pyramid of Giza was built with an estimated 2.3 million limestone blocks composed primarily of the mineral calcite, the crystalline form of calcium carbonate, which is the same material that makes up coral. So there is our connection. The Eulitic limestone, the coral that Ed Leedskalman used to build his coral castle, is made up of the same skeletal coral structures that the limestone at the Great Pyramids of Giza was made from. The stones, though given different names, are in composition absolutely identical. So then you may ask, what does this have to do with understanding the secrets of the pyramid builders? What can the similarities between the constitutions of both coral and limestone have to do with his ability to move 1,100 tons of coral without the aid of modern machinery? It has to do with its crystalline structure. Earlier I had mentioned that both coral and limestone share a common mineral. It is called calcite. Calcite, the crystalline form of calcium carbonate, is the primary component of both coral and limestone. Calcite is part of what is called the triagonal crystal system, and within this system is what is called a hexagonal lattice.
In early 2007, modern imaging technology revealed something else on Saturn that astounded scientists. We see it very, very intensely now. It's something big, something strange, and something never seen in the universe before. Saturn, the solar system's most bizarre yet beautiful planet, has just gotten even more mysterious. In 1979, the Voyager spacecraft showed a perfect geometric form over the North Pole. In October 2006, the Cassini craft found that it is still there. It's just bizarre, and it sits there kind of still. It doesn't move with the planet. The pole, there's a hexagonal feature, a six-sided, polygon that encircles the pole at about 78 degrees north latitude. And it's sitting there as a set feature. The hexagon is similar to Earth's polar vortex, which has winds blowing in a circular fashion around the pole. Saturn's vortex can fit four Earths inside of it and extends 60 miles deep into Saturn's clouds. 
And what's more bizarre, uh, Voyager saw little tiny clouds going around at about 100 meters per second, which is about 200 miles an hour, going around this racetrack. People thought, well, maybe it's just a, a temporary thing. How could this stay there? It's been there now for at least 20 years. Okay, I want to read this to you. This is from that hurricane. Supposedly, the guy whose name was Sandy Fry, which is interesting because he, he did a simulation of it in 1997, okay? It wound up being called Hurricane Sandy, but then when we read this underneath, it says, these texts were used as a drill simulation or stimulus. Now listen, this is where it's interesting. Look what it says here. They were time shifted, okay? I told you they were messing with time to stimulate landfall around 6 p.m. on Saturday. So we got 6 and 6. October, right? 4. It says working backward from this time we use these texts to generate and automatically update a World Wide Web. Uh, Wika or Set. Set is Egyptian. Okay? And send email to the Westchester heiress. This is an important word right here. Whether you can read this or not, go full screen. A-R-E-S. Almost like Aryan, right? Races. Email reflector to Fax County Emergency Operation and the National Weather Service. This is getting way out of hand, and I'm, I'm going to show you some more stuff here in a second. Just so you get this, this is all utter bullshit. We are being completely fucking screwed here. Completely. I don't believe nothing on the news. Nothing. Okay, let's continue on. Let's see who Ares, because it was Ares slash race. Okay? He's a Greek god, okay? was the Greek god of war. He was one of the 12 Olympiads and the son of Zeus and Hera. He often represents physical or violent aspect of war. Okay? So, we've got reversal of time, we've got war, we've got a guy named Sandy. So we know that this Ares guy is involved in war. Well, Saturn and Mars play both of these parts. Okay? But here's, here's the kicker right here. And I want you guys, do you remember 
a couple years ago, was it a couple years ago, where they said, oh, the American troops are being completely and overwhelmingly stressed out from being there, and they killed a puppy, and it was on YouTube, and everybody like, was like freaking out. I'm going to show you why they really killed that puppy. And it's the same reason that they're using this name, Aries Races, okay, in conjunction with the hurricane that came through, because it all comes down to the same fucking thing. Now, you guys remember this? Live links. That was 2008. I'm sorry. It was longer ago than I thought. U.S. soldier throws puppy off cliff in Iraq. Okay? See this here? Why would somebody do that? Oh, he's so stressed out. You better understand what mentality you're dealing with here. You're dealing with a bunch of fucking crazed, bloodthirsty racist. And I'm going to prove it right now. Let's look. Cult and ritual. Although Ares received occasional sacrifices from armies going to war, the god had a formal temple and cult at a few sites. At Sparta, okay, now we're talking Rome, okay? We're talking Roman, we're talking Saturn, we're talking that particular fucking ilk. And what comes out of Rome? Nazis, dude. Nazi, it's all Nazism. How, at Sparta, however, youths each sacrificed a puppy to en Enyalios before engaging in a ritual at pho phobia, pho phobia, phobia, um, whatever. Um, the knight sacrifices a dog to en Enyalios, became assimilated with the cult of Ares. Okay, so look at here. That guy didn't, they didn't flip out and kill that dog. They killed that dog because the same reason they killed those people in New York City. It's all the same thing. That's why it says in, in, that, in that briefing that it's Aries slash racist. It's Aries. Aries racist. Arian. Wake the fuck up. Stop listening to the news. Stop listening to anything to do with telecommunications as far as them telling you what's going on. I'm telling you, the news is not going to tell you, and they're going to go from city to city wiping people out. I'm, that's what's happening. I'm sure of it, and it's already started. Do it, believe what you want. It's all right there. It's right in your face. Fucking nine, guy was nine years old. It, it's a simulation of one, yet it's really happening. What the fuck is going on here to us? What are they doing to us? This is crazy. Anyway, let's look. Let's look at this. I think this is from 2000. It's either 2002 or 2006. Bush said this, and I remember a long time looking at this, saying there's something really wrong with this. In a 14-minute speech, twice President Bush mentioned and asked the question: Does the angel in the world when still direct this storm? Does the angel in the world when still direct this storm? I got to tell you, it's, it sounds awful suspicious, like what happened in New York. Does the angel in the world when still direct the storm, referring to America? is what I think. And then when I went and I looked it up, you could go look this guy's name up, the second, third, and fourth lines, the fourth quatrain, interesting, four cube, which is uh, the statement that contains that the angel in the whirlwind directs the storm and he hurls death. Is that not what we saw in New York? I, I, you know, I, I come off as a hard ass and I scream a lot and I'm sorry, but, you know, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It's it's just the times that we live in, and people better start understanding this isn't fairy tale shit. There were people that were in there that were killed by something that wasn't human, and they burned the fucker to the ground. That's how you get rid of the evidence. That was not a storm. Look at the storm pattern. It was going north, and then it just made a left. Hurricanes don't do that. They hit the coast, and they cartwheel up the coast. Okay, that thing was coming. I told you, Coney, 2012 means knock out New York. And I said over and over again, 
It was either New York or Chicago. It was New York. So please, pay attention to this stuff. It isn't a joke anymore. It isn't a conspiracy. Fuck 9-11. All 9-11 was, was telling you that it had begun. 9-11. Revelation 9-11. And they had a king, and he was the king of the bottomless pit, and his name was Abaddon. But in the Greek, his name is Apollyon. Okay? Isn't it interesting that they, it happened on 9-11? And that it coincides with the, the with with Revelations 9-11? Because they're telling you. All you gotta do is just think a little bit. Words might be a little noisy, sorry, nothing I can do about that. Look, um, basically, every one of these points, you got Brighton Beach here, interesting, you got a pink and a purple and yellow here on the woman. From the financial district, all of these street, all of these streets, okay, all were part of the, all part of that storm and that flood and that whatever, the destruction, okay? But all the rest of these, um, the Yukon Territory, Nebraska, with the uh, Nebraska, uh, Tenafly, New Guinea, Mount Fuji, Las Vegas. Every one of those, with the exception of Nebraska, had an earthquake on the 30th, the same time that the storm was going on. You can't ignore this connection where they put Saturn center of the Earth. There is a cube in the center of this planet. What's inside that cube are the things that are coming out. This all goes back to the whole Chilean miner thing, okay? If you go look uh, in the video where you see t where it says Tenafly, I clicked on YouTube, and the first one came up, and, and the time that the guy stamped on there is 3.30. Well, you know, it, 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 it's ridiculous. The Nebraska earthquake happened October 18. That's 9, uh, and it was a... Uh, uh, Oh, let's see, it happened on the 18th? You know, I mean, it, it, it happened on the 18th, it was a 1.8 or something, but they both equal, they both equal, no, it was a 3.6. So, yeah, 9 and 9 again, that's 18, that's 9. Uh, there's something going on, when it's all 9, something's going to bust loose. I don't give a shit what anybody says. The New Yorker just doesn't put nutty things on the front just to do it. If you go look at the artist, he's way into the occult. Um, I believe these are exit points. Okay, if you look, if you look at New Guinea, not a lot of people live in there. There's plenty of jungle, places to hide. Uh, Mount Fu Fuji, uh, ain't nobody living up on the top of there. The Yukon, that is up in Canada, and that is, it's all forested, but it's desolate. And what I mean by that is there ain't a lot of people living in that area. Um, you know, this all goes back to the Titans. It all goes back to Tartarus and them being released and just a whole bunch of stuff so just understand it's not it's not a coincidence that there were earth, earthquakes on the 30th the same time that storm was going on this stuff is just beginning and when these things come out of the ground i don't know what they are if biblically it says and there were giants in the earth so you know is that what's coming out i don't know but you got that cube, which represents Saturn, or, repre or, or rep represents the cube that those things are locked in that are coming up. Um, it's, just, it's just too weird. It's too weird, but it shows, it shows that there's a pattern to this stuff.